Hi guys, Gary Jossie here, back with another video. Uh, today's video, I'm continuing our series on driving lessons, learning how to drift. So in this video, I'm using the 90mm XRX with the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 RS uh, shell. Let's start off with uh, how what we got to last time. So last time I showed how to start the drift by you know, using your throttle, losing the grip at the back. And as the car loses the grip, the gyro will counter steer the wheels for you and start to bring the car in at an angle. At this point, then you have a choice. You can start to continue letting the car slide around and the gyro will continue to work. But if you put too much throttle on, the car will just spin out. So instead of getting a nice gradual drift, you'll kind of, you know, spin out all the way. At that point, you have to either put some steering input in to control the angle or adjust your throttle to keep the car drifting. And you'll see this in the video. Now, ultimately, with this kind of thing, there is a, an element that you have to learn the balance of your car. So this car will feel different to, say, the 98mm XRX, which has got a longer wheelbase. The main thing here is seeing how the car is behaving. If you can see the car is starting to stabilise, you can then steer and control the angle of the drift quite easily. If the car looks like it's going to go past the point of balance where the car is going to spin out, you have to back off the throttle or you have to steer into it harder. So what do I mean by steering into it harder? Well, the gyro is going to move the wheels in a counter steer direction as your back end goes this way. So you either have to steer more to stop it spinning or back off your throttle. And that's what I want to show you in this video today. Little points in the drifts where I pause it, you can see what my hands are doing on the wheels and on the throttle and the steering wheel. And you can also see where the car finds a balance. There's a few shots in this video where you'll see the car straight on and you'll see the nose almost move that way. And that's me demonstrating that I've got the car under control and I can actually change the position of the car sideways. And that those instances, you might almost notice if you look very carefully that I've backed off the throttle a little just a slight amount when the car is in this point because I could feel that the car was going to spin out it's difficult when I say feel you're looking at the car you're not sat inside the car and remember you're working with the gyro the gyro is counter steering but you've also got to counter steer and you have to adjust the throttle to keep that car in the balanced position so you'll see a few shots in the video where the car comes across it's going sideways and then you see me just move the nose of the car like this just a little subtle move, and that's me gaining control of the car mid-slide and deciding I want to change what I want to do. And usually that involves a tiny back off of the throttle and an adjustment of the steering, and I'll get that movement of the car that way. If I want to come out of the slide, the easiest way usually is to back off the throttle and the car will start to straighten up. All this is in the video now going ahead. I'm not going to talk so much over the drifting again. You'll hear the throttle, you'll see the movements, and this time I've done it on the tabletop so you can see the car at more of a side angle and see what the wheels are doing. Here we go guys, so here you can see me performing a slide where I'm counter steering into the slide to keep the slide going. So the gyro will start this but you have to keep it going. And you can see with this closer shots now the constant steering input that's going on. You can see my fingers very gently twitching the wheels, my throttle being applied to keep the slide going and then me counter steering into it to control the direction. These little close-ups I'm doing, just so you can see how much work is going into the wheels, it's not just the gyro. The gyro will do the initial, but you've got to do the rest. And this is where it differs from all-wheel drive. There's a lot more steering input required. And here I'm just showing how I tweak the, the steering, and I'm giant, slightly depressing the throttle just to keep the car in the right direction and change the nose direction. These little things, it's almost like riding a bike. You'll do it automatically once you've done it enough times. And I'm using the tabletop here because I can get a closer view. And also it requires a lot more control so you can see the little movements that are involved. Sometimes I'm feathering the throttle, sometimes using constant throttle. Depends if I need to change direction quickly and how the car's moving. So again, you can see the small steering inputs. And here, again, you see the wheels counter steer and see my fingers twitching the steering wheel. Notice the small inputs I'm putting in. These aren't massive maneuvers. Only occasionally you'll see the steering wheel move quite a lot, but you'll see normally just little tweaks here and there just to keep the car balanced. And that's what you're doing, keeping it balanced, just like a bicycle. And I'm using the same shots and angles on purpose just so you can see what the car does in relation to my hands. I'm hoping this view gives you better insight. 
Okay, here you can see me putting more throttle on to bring the back end round, and then the steering I've controlled to come out the slide. I almost let go of the throttle, and the car straightened up. So that's one of the things you'll learn that when you let go of the throttle, you can often straighten the car up. A lot of this depends on what kind of speed you're carrying with the car. So when it's a more constant speed, you can leave the throttle almost constant and steer into it. If you need to stop and change direction, then you're gonna to have to do something with the throttle or the brake. Now that sounds obvious, but with all-wheel drive cars, it's a lot, lot easier. But here you have to constantly see what the car's doing and input accordingly. And here, this is what you can see me doing right now. Now the car does seem quite far away, but I've done this so you can get a feel for what's happening. And this is more of a continuous slide all the way around. You can see the angle of the wheels. I'm controlling that. Hopefully you'll re-watch these clips and see what my steering is doing. I've left this speed, at, this uh, clip at full speed now, just so you can see how quickly these reactions are and how the car responds in normal time. I've left the throttle noise in as well, so you can see the throttle, hear the throttle. And hopefully this will be some use to you. But you can see the steering input here is a lot bigger when I'm doing quicker turns. But trying to maintain, you tend to do little flicky flicks of the steering wheel rather than full on turns. Guys, I hope this helps with the drifting. It's one of those where you have to keep doing it and practicing to get the hang of it. In some of the other shots, you will see, again, me maintaining more of a constant speed and the car spinning around. And again, it's all to, the, to watching the wheels and watching what your car is doing. If your car is looking like it's gonna hold the slide and you can see it's kind of steady, you can maintain the throttle and just let the car spin around and hold your steering angle. It's at those points you can adjust the steering angle and watch the car's tail change position. I did that in the last video, but I'm hoping in this video it's more clear. Okay guys, so I think that's all my summary for today. I'm not gonna to talk too much. Go ahead and enjoy the video. See if it's useful. Give me some advice if you want me to change tactics with these lessons. And the next time I'm going to put this onto the drift track, have a little circuit, and we can put together what you've seen so far and see me do it on a circuit with the uh, transmitter in shot so you can learn something from that. Okay guys, if you like what we do here on the channel, please drop a like for the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll see you guys all next time in the next video.